Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Nielsen. I'm going to do the morning message with you today. Are you ready? Let's look up at the screen. Good morning. Today is what, 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 what day of the week do you think it is? Remember the day of the week song? Monday, Tuesday, what, what, Wednesday. That's right. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow would be Thursday. And today is Wednesday. How many days are there in a week? Do you remember? Hmm, that's correct. Seven days. Remember our little song? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today is Wednesday. What month is it? Mm, A. May. That's correct. May 6th, 2020. May is the name of the month. This is the day of the month, May 6th. And this is the, that's right, you remember, the year 2020. The weather today is supposed to be cloudy with a chance of rain and only 55 degrees. I think we need to go talk to Mr. Sun and tell him we like when he shines and the temperature is at least 70 degrees. Let's see, what are we going to do again today? Do you remember what we're learning about? That's right, plants. And do you remember one day Mrs. Nielsen showed you that I was gonna grow a plant from something I had in the refrigerator and was using for dinner one night? I cut the salad down at the bottom and I put used all the leaves on top and I put it in some water. See right down here? And look at how much it's grown. Look at all the new salad leaves. That you could make new vegetables from plants that you bought to use from the grocery store. Isn't that great? I hope you're having fun with plants too. Well, what are we doing today? Let's look and see. Let's look at our next page over here. Are you ready? Today, we will read and discuss the book up in the garden and down in the dirt by Kate Messner. Do you know why I underlined these words here? Up in the garden and down in the dirt? That's because that's the book's title. It tells us the name of the book and gives us a little idea of what the book might be about. So we're gonna learn about things that are up in the garden and down in the dirt. Up and down, we're also gonna learn about our that's correct, Opposites, and it's by Kate Messner. Do you remember what we call the person who writes the book, Kate Messner? She is the author. The author writes the book. Okay, are you ready to start looking at the book and listen to it? And while we're listening to the book, I might ask you some questions. So put on your thinking caps and let's see if you could be really good listeners. Okay, let's get that book here. Here we go. Could you see that? I'll make sure you could see. So I'm going to push back my computer a little bit. And we're going to try our best to see if we could read this book like this. Here's the title. Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. Nice little picture. And you can see something down here. This is going to be the dirt area. And I see something there. Do you know what that is? Hmm. I think you probably do. I don't like them. That's an earthworm. And up here you can see some of the things growing in a garden. Let's see what this book has in here for us. Look at all the different fruits and vegetables that grow in gardens, okay? You may have some in your garden too. Up in the garden and down in the dirt. Okay, let me see if you could see this. I really wanna make sure that you are following along with me. I'm gonna try to move that a little bit more and hopefully you could see it. This is, yes, I'll put on her glasses so we could see it together. Are you ready? Oops, I think I moved it. Sorry. Okay, let's go. Up in the garden, I stand and plan. What do you mean plan? What is she planning? Hmm, she's probably thinking about what she wants to plant in her garden, what she wants to grow. My hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. There's a little girl here. Do you see her over here on this page right here? Let me see if I can get this book over a little bit more. Right here. Little girl with her grandma. 
and they're in the garden. I don't know if I could see that too well over there. We're going to try again. I'm going to try to put it a little bit closer to the book. There we go. The girl and her grandma. And they're over there in the garden getting ready to plant some stuff. And remember, seeds are going to be used to grow new plants. Okay, let's see. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. No more winter. Now it's going to be springtime, so the snow is no more. It's all going to be melted. Wind whistles through last year's plants, and mud sucks at my rain boots. Remember, in the springtime, it's rainy, so she might have some mud on her boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. Why do you think they need to warm up? Well, probably because it was winter time before springtime. And it gets very cold and things get frozen. And everything has to melt a little bit before the dirt could start to grow new things. We have to put seeds in and we have to see what happens to it. But it needs some things in order to grow, remember? What's down in there, I ask. The little girl's ex and her grandma. Grandma, what's down in the dirt? Let's find out. Turn this page. Oh, that looks interesting. Look at all that stuff. Those are things you find in the dirt. Now, let's read this page here. See what it tells us. You ready? Oh, Miss Neal's having a little bit of a hard time with her camera here today. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. What do you think they're doing down there? Working for what? Why do they need to work in the dirt? Well, they help to get the dirt all ready for the plants to grow. And some of them live in the dirt too. Hmm, let's see what else is happening here. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustfully armfuls, and wheel away the weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. But they're cleaning up all the things that have died over the winter, and they're going to be nice and new for the new plants to start to grow. So they're gonna stir things up and get rid of all the old stuff, and so they can plant some new things. Now, over here, on this side, Let's see what we have here. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plaited suits of armor. Roly poly round. You see these little things right here? They look like that at first. But when you touch them, they roll up into a little ball. When I was a little girl, we used to call them roly polies too. And they would just roll right back up and that's the way of them protecting themselves from you hurting them. So they do that and they also live in the dirt. And they're, they're really cute little bugs, but we don't want to harm them because they're very helpful to the plants. Okay, let's see what we have over here now. Ready? Okay, up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Do you know what a furrow is? She's making like little lines or little tunnels over here. And that's where she's going to plant her seeds. And notice how she's planting, the, how she's making those little furrows. They're not right on top of each other. They need some space so the roots could grow when the seeds start to what? What's that called? When they start to grow, they start to sprout. Very good. Now, she has to give them a drink. What's she going to give them? Some Coca-Cola? Or some milk? No, we know plants need water. Nana says, we pat them down to snuggle in the dark. So she's going to pat them down. She's going to water them. And you can see on this side here, on this page, there's a watering can with the water. And here is where she has the plants. 
But down in the dirt, there's something else. She plants it up here, down here. There's this red thing. Do you know what that is? I didn't even know what it was. It's called a tomato hornworm. And he's resting. He's waiting for his wings to develop. And the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. So she's waiting for them things to grow before she comes out of the dirt. Okay. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout. Pea blossoms bloom. Wasps are on the prowl. And honeybees visit. Legs loaded with pollen. Here's the bees traveling around. The carrots starting to grow, the sprouts starting to come up, the worms making tunnels. That helps with the air for the roots of the plant. They help to what's called aerate the soil. Oh, this is a lot of hard work. I think that she may be a little bit thirsty. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. The shade is where you could cool off a little bit, right? Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp dark. All the way down in the, under the dirt, it's much cooler. There we go. Birds in the trees. All of these the trees growing and the leaves starting to grow. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me, Yee! and all the plants growing. Also good for the plants, the water, right? I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep, roots drink it in. And a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Look. See that? Okay, let's see what we have up here. Okay, I, still, I can't see it so good myself. i got to make sure you guys are seeing it. Okay, up here on this side, up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Those are the little tiny bugs you see all around here. See? Nana crunches green beans. Mmm. I bite a ripe tomato. Warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Do you like tomatoes? I like them. I like them in salads. I also like them on sandwiches sometimes. But a little bit of salt on them, they're very yummy. You should try a tomato if you haven't had one before. You might like them. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, and a grub. Slugs are scrumptious, too. So you see, boys and girls, birds eat some of the insects that are down in the dirt. That's the food for them. Very important for the life cycle of animals, of birds, and all other, like other kinds of animals, too. Up in the garden, right over here, we pick cukes. You know what cukes are? That's short for cucumbers and zucchini harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Wow, working in a garden is a lot of work, but it pays off because a lot of scrumptious things grow in a garden. Let's take a good look at this picture here. Here on top, I see somebody here eating one of the bugs. What is that guy? Hmm. Is that a raccoon? Or is that a skunk? What is it? Oh, I think it's a skunk. They kind of stinky, right? But they too need to eat, and they're going to eat some of the bugs. They might even eat some of the plants. we got to be careful when we have a garden. Down here in the dirt, skunks work in the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble, cut worms while I sleep. So when you're sleeping, there's things outside in the garden that are still awake. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana says, Nana sprays away the aphids 
and I'm after grasshoppers. That may be something fun to do, try to catch grasshoppers, but they're really very quick. See ya, with the net, ready to swish. But, uh-oh, what happens? Does she catch it? I don't know. They're very, very quick, so it might be hard to catch a grasshopper. <gasps> Snap. Someone else is faster than she was. What's that thing? Uh, it's a snake. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining god of snake crunches on supper. So he eats the grasshopper for supper. A lot of action in the garden. Okay, piano. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Oh, it's starting to get a little cooler. So what's happening to the summertime? Mm-hmm. It's changing real soon. It'll go from summer to fall. Do you remember the other word for fall? That's correct, autumn. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. So she's tying together the big sunflowers and she wants to sit underneath them and just to read her books and be cool. A good book, but there's a lot of information in here, right? Let's see. Okay, down in the dirt. Can get a bit over there, maybe you can see a little bit better. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Over here, that's a spider's web. That's an orb weaver. They're doing a lot of busy work too. That's how they catch their food. They catch other flies and other bugs onto their web so that they could eat them too. See? Oh, they're very busy and that could happen in the garden too. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. What's that mean? Harvest. Hmm. Well, there's still some plants out there and there's still some things growing. And they might be full grown by now, so that means we have to take them off the plants so and use them. So the pumpkins and the squash and anything that's still growing, before it gets too cold out and they start to, and they will get frosted and die, we want to take them off and use them. There's enough for the neighbors too. And she's gonna share the things that grow in her garden. Okay, over here now. Down in the dirt. Frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. And they want to keep some food for themselves because when this gets colder out, they're not going to have any food up in that garden anymore, right? And things are going to get covered with snow and get cold and not be there anymore. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret ache sacs hang waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down here in the dirt, beetles burrow. They go to sleep. Ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the dark. And they're all going to go rest up for the winter to pass. When Grandpa calls us for in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble. Sorry guys, that was my dog starting to act up. And the wind smells like winter, but the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down hiding, biding their time, waiting for the spring to come again. Okay, oh my goodness, look what happens to the garden now. Did you see that over here? The snow's frosting down, dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts. Under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. It's sleeping down in the dirt because now the season's changed and things are sleeping, waiting for spring to come where they can come back up and things will start to grow. The end. That was a really cool book about things that happen in a garden. Did you know there was a lot of work like that in a garden? 
And a lot of things that grow up and things that grow down and things that live down in the dirt. Well, I'd like for you to think of some of this stuff and think about some of the fruits and vegetables that grow in a garden. And think about whether they grow above the ground or under the ground. And Mrs. Nielsen has here a little activity we could do together to try to think about that. Okay, let's see if I get rid of this one here. And I could begin, I'm gonna put the camera back up, up on the screen and we could talk about things that grow in the dirt. Hmm, well, do they grow above the dirt? Tops and bottoms. Well, let's look over here. Does it grow below the dirt or above the dirt? Let's see what we could find over here. I see we have a carrot. We have a sweet potato. Now, could you think with me where you think it might grow? Where should I put a carrot? I could click on it. And that's right, carrots grow on the bottom, under the dirt. So I'm going to put that there. That's one. What about grapes? Where would these grow? They grow on top in the trees. That's correct. What about an onion? Oh, that's another one that grows on the bottom. And here we have a fruit. What's this? A pear. Pears grow on trees too. So I'm going to put them up here on the tops, okay? Hmm, let's see. What else? Do you know where blueberries grow? They grow on bushes above the ground. And strawberries, they also grow above the ground. They grow actually on the ground sometimes, or they could climb up fences and things, or sticks that people might put in the ground, because they, they grow on a vine. What about potatoes? Potatoes grow under the ground. So you could see all of these, and you could talk with mommy about it, and see where they might grow, and what part of the plant they might be. And this is where does it grow? Maybe you can come up with a picture of something that grows on the above the ground or something that grows below the ground. And draw me a picture and send it to me. I'd love to see it. Or maybe find something online that you'd like to send. Okay? What Mrs. Nielsen's going to do is I'm going to send Mommy an email so she could look at some of the things that I found that have to do with this. And I hope you have some fun listening to the story. And maybe you can answer some of the questions that I have for you about this story. You can always go back and listen to me read it again. I would like for you to remember what, what's in the garden. What, what happens during the different seasons? Does the garden always stay the same? What are some things that happen in the garden? What are some things that happen down in the dirt? I'm going to put these questions down for Mommy to talk to you about. And then maybe you could send me some of your answers and share it. We'd love to see that. We miss you guys so much. And I hope that you're having a good time learning with the way we're doing this as best as we can. Mrs. Nielsen's not too very good at this computer stuff, but we're trying very hard and love you and we just want to hope, say that we hope you're well and stay healthy and we miss you and hopefully we'll get to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.